today we are preparing a goosey soup you have different methods of preparing a goosey soup you can fry it and you might cook it without frying so today i'm going to be cooking the egusi soup that i'm not going to fry hello everyone you see your girl benny of free benny's kitchen guess you guys are doing so great so the meat has been boiling for some time i'll just open the pot now to see how far the meat has boiled you can see it's boiling and in here i have my already washed meat seasoned with onions pepper seasoning cube thyme that is what I used to season this meat. And I'm, I have my goat meat and beef in here. It's just a little soup I'm trying to prepare. You can see it's already boiling. It's been on the fire for like um, 15 minutes. And I guess it's almost cooked. So before it is cooked, I'll just add some cow skin so it will cook with it because I don't want it to be over soft. So I'll now fry the pot for it to cook a little bit while I come back. I'm back to check the meat. After five minutes, you can see the pot is bubbling and the meat is already cooked. So guys, I'll add the ingredients now. So first of all, I'm going to be adding my washed fish and my panla fillet. So here goes in the fish and the stock fish fillet. Then I'll be adding my Cameroon dry pepper. Bouillon cube. I'll add some crayfish. Leave some and add it after I've added the vegetables. I'm going to be adding some dry okoro, but it's optional. I'll be adding the quantity of water I need to cook this soup. So if you want the measurement, the inness of this soup, I'm going to leave it below for you people to see in case you want to try this recipe. I'll be adding some red palm oil. I will now combine everything together, combine very, very well. When it is well combined, I will now cover the pot for it to simmer. You can see the quantity of water I added. Do, uh, do not add too much water to it until you've added the grease. When it is too thick, you cannot add more water, but just like this. So I'll cover the pot for another 5 to 10 minutes for it to simmer and boil very, very well. After 5 minutes, I'm back to check my pot. So this is what we have. You can see it is just bubbling and bubbling. But I still have to allow it to boil for some time. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do share, keep liking, and give the video a thumbs up, please. I'm now going to be adding my periwinkle. Our blended egusi is good to go in now. You see how dry it is? Some people do wet just with water, but I do mine dry like this. I'll add the egusi now. I already have a video where I showed you the frying method of cooking egusi soup. You can check it out. If you like too much oil in your soup, you can add more than what you have here. But I feel this is just enough. 
so we allow this to cook for like five minutes so the egg whisky will be well cooked at this point you can lower the heat because as egg whisky should get burnt easily so you just have to lower the heat this is after 10 minutes i am back you can see the egg whisky is bubbling i allowed it to boil for at least 10 minutes so that the egg will be very will, will cook very very well because if your egg whisky is not well cooked your soup might go bad and i know you don't want that now i'll just add the veg i'm going to be using ugu leaves and onubu onubu is bitter leaf because i did that bitter taste in my egg whisky soup and I tell you, if you try this combination, you thank me later because it is so, so sweet. So I'll first of all add the bitter leaf before I add the um, ugu leaves. So this is the bitter leaf I'm adding now. I'm adding some ugu leaves now. Then I'll add some crayfish to make the leaf very, very tasty. I'll now combine. You can see the face of our egg whisky soup. If you want to add more water to yours, you can, but I'm just going to be leaving mine like this. I'll add the salt now. Always add your salt little by little so you don't spoil the soup. See how colorful the face of the unfried egg whisky soup is. Please keep liking, keep sharing and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you have not done that. I'm not going to be cooking for too long now. I'll just test for salt and then I'll turn off the heat because I don't want the leaves to be overcooked I'll just add just little salt you can have this with any swallow of your choice on the yam oatmeal fufu or gari some people even use their egg soup to eat rice. I've seen that. So you can try it. So everything is just all right in the pot now. This is our unfried egg whisky. You can see how thick it is. And you can see how colorful it is. The soup is ready now. So guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.